Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about the Earth's magnetic field retuning and are we feeling it? It is stirring, this time not above us, but beneath us, deep inside the, the planet's molten core. Something has changed. Earth's magnetic heartbeat, the invisible shield that protects every living thing is behaving differently. And now a region scientists call the, the South Atlantic anomaly has grown even larger than ever before. This is this isn't science fiction, this is data straight from satellites orbiting above us, and the changes below us might be felt in more ways than we realize. And let's talk about what's going on beneath us. A USD study confirms that the Earth's inner core has indeed slowed. New study provides clear evidence that the inner core began to slow its speed back in 2010. Article here dated June the 12th of 2024. You can read the article down below in the description box. It gives a lot of detailed information about how how they learned that the, the Earth's core is indeed slowing down. And here's the thing, if the Earth's core is slowing down, it's definitely going to create some sort of an anomaly in the Earth's magnetic field. That's what creates the magnetic field is the, the geodynamo of the Earth. The Earth's magnetic field is powered by a flow of liquid iron moving deep in the outer core. Imagine an ocean of metal constantly swirling and generating a planetary current. But lately, that current seems to be shifting. ESA Warm satellites have tracked changes in the magnetic field, and the weakest point continues to drift and expand across the South Atlantic between South America and Africa. For decades, this area has puzzled scientists. Satellites passing through the, the breach, basically, is what it is, often experience malfunctions or data dropouts, almost like the field is thinner there. In recent updates, that weak region appears to be stretching even farther west, and another secondary weak zone is Forming to the east. Some researchers think it's a sign that the poles are slowly shifting. Others believe it's just part of the Earth's natural magnetic breathing cycle. But either way, this field is alive, it's moving, and it's changing faster than we expected. And not only is it, in a sense, alive, this change affects every living creature on the Earth. And here's the part that hardly ever makes the news. Every time the, the Earth's magnetic field moves, it doesn't just affect satellites, it affects every living creature on the Earth. We are electromagnetic beings living on an electromagnetic planet. Our nervous systems, our heart rhythms, even our brain waves operate in the same frequency range as the Schumann resonance, the Earth's natural background frequency that pulses between 7 and 30 hertz. When the magnetic field shifts, the Schumann resonance tends to spike or lock into bright sustained tones, and that's when people start reporting things like ringing in the ears, waves of fatigue, sudden bursts of energy, restless sleep, or vivid dreams, a wide plethora of different things that, that people notice when the magnetic field's in a state of flux. Not only people, but animals as well. Check this out, a, a flock of birds flying around wildly. This was in Morristown, Tennessee, video taken by Ernie. This isn't necessarily uncommon, but it's not necessarily something you see every day. I know there for a while I got a, a flurry of videos of strange animal behavior all over the earth animals doing things that they just don't normally do. This is an exceptionally large flock of birds, possibly containing thousands of birds, almost acting as if they're trying to find their way. And speaking of wildlife, I just received this comment less than 24 hours ago from Green Monster 2. Goes on to say, a friend of mine on the East Coast has a small farm. He said all of his animals are acting crazy this past week. Talking about this week here, the last seven days, one bull went after a calf that was about 250 pounds, got under it with its head and horns and launched it over a small creek on his property about 15 feet away. Thankfully the calf wasn't injured. He also said his neighbor has a small farm with a bunch of cattle. The cattle are going crazy as well. He said a herd of them went after a small bear and wounded it. Then he said a friend had to be rescued on his land because the cattle surrounded the hunter and were ready to go after the hunter. Really, really weird behavior. He said that he's never seen before. So could all of this stuff simply be a coincidence possibly? But the pattern keeps showing up when the Earth vibrates differently. Many people feel it. The Earth's shield isn't just a magnetic field. It's a living, breathing layer of energy that interacts with the sun. When solar flares and CMEs hit the magnetosphere, it compresses it. And during these same windows, the Schumann resonance often surges. That overlaps solar energy meeting the Earth's pulse may be part of what we're sensing. Not fear, not collapse, but 
recalibration. The field isn't failing, it's retuning. And as it shifts, it's tuning us as well. The planet may be adjusting its frequency, the same one all living systems naturally resonate with. So maybe the real question isn't what's wrong with the field, maybe it's what it's preparing us for. Whatever's happening inside the Earth's core, it's still unfolding, and we'll keep watching it very, very closely. If you've been feeling a little bit off lately, maybe it's not just you. Maybe it's the planet tuning up its song. And not only has the Earth been busy here recently, but so has the Sun. The Sun has launched a series of large solar flares with CMEs, but so far, none of the CME activity has been Earth-directed. You can see a very large one there that occurred back on the, the 21st and the 22nd. This is the SOHO Lasco C3. This is the, the wide field of view. That was a humongous CME. Here's another clip of activity on the, the 26th and the 27th. You can see more solar flares jumping off the, the backside of the sun where there's a, a large sunspot that's turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. And you can see right there, a Temporarily, there was a debris field hurled towards the Earth. I don't know if this was plasma. I don't know if this was something to do with a comet's tail, some sort of debris from a comet. But either way, the, the SOHO Lasco C3 picked up some debris back on the 27th. And here's what the SOHO instrument looks like today. Right there, once again, more large solar flare activity on the backside of the sun. And if you notice, the other CME launched off the, the backside of the sun over here at around the, the 1, 2 o'clock position. The sun's rotating counterclockwise. This new CME launched over here at the 10 o'clock position. That tells us that this active region and sunspot back here is indeed turning towards the Earth. Right now, as I do this video, the activity you're seeing right now on this instrument occurred today, the 29th of October. Stay grounded and stay aware. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.